Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about adding a widget to the admin dashboard, the WP admin dashboard. In this video, I want to show you how to add a widget to the admin dashboard, a custom widget, one that you build yourself. Now, if you are wanting to put details from a plugin that you've downloaded, if it doesn't include a dashboard widget, then you pretty much can't add a dashboard widget unless you write your own and you look at the code of that plugin to see what it does and what the functions are and stuff like that. So we're going to add a simple widget to the dashboard and then you can expand on that widget um, later on or I can expand in another video or whatever. So let's get started on it. All right, we're here on the ideapro.io website that we do testing and stuff like that. And here is the front page of the website. Now we're going to go to our development code over here. And we're going to create this in a plugin. So we're going to create a simple plugin and include the um, widget information that's needed to create that widget. And then we can expand on that later if we need to. I want this to be as short, as quick as possible so you guys can see how to add that widget and then um, then you can add to it, do whatever you you know you want with it. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create, well, let's save it first and we're going to do it in our plugins directory. So let's go here and we're going to just call this admin dashboard dashboard widget. Now, if you are actually publishing this, you know, for, to share with other people or if you want um, to use it on multiple websites, you definitely want a different name for it than that. This is very generic and there's probably going to be somebody using the same name, but we'll just leave it like this for now for testing. So now we want to add a page for our plugin and admin dashboard widget php all right so this is our main page here and we're going to open some php tags and we're going to put in just a little bit of requirement for plugin name admin dashboard if i spell it right dashboard widget all right and then we're going to close that whoops there we go so that's pretty much all you need at the top of a plugin for wordpress to recognize that it's a plugin and and pull the name. Now you can add author description, website URL, author URL, um, license information, text domain. You can add all that stuff if you're going to pub publish it for someone else or if you just want to add that stuff. But a lot of the stuff that we do for just one little thing like this, a lot of times if we're not going to use it on multiple sites or if we're not going to um, put it out there to the public for sharing, we won't add stuff like that. We'll just add a name so that we know what that, um, the name, to be able to see that plugin in the plugins list, all right? So we're gonna create a function and we're just gonna call it admin dashboard widget, all right? And you can name this plugin whatever you want. So we're gonna add an action and this action is going to be WP dash dashboard setup. Come on, there we go. And then we're gonna call back, do a, our function as a callback, okay? All right, so now inside of this function, what this action does is it says, it basically calls this action the WP dashboard setup. If you wanna know more about that, I can link the WordPress codex in the description, and you can look that up in Google and, and see more about this uh, this action, all right? Or it's called, a, I guess it's called a hook, but action is, it's add action, so we're adding an action, all right? All right, so what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna create the description of the box, all right? So we're gonna do WP underscore add dashboard widget. Okay, so we're gonna give a couple lines right here. Now this is a function inside of WordPress that um, 
gives you the ability to add a, a dashboard widget. All right, so we've got three different variables here or attributes that we're gonna to need to fill in. And the first one is the widget slug. So we want a unique name for this. And as I'm calling it admin, excuse me, admin dashboard widget, that's gonna be good enough for what for this demo that we're doing. The second attribute is going to be the title, all right? So let's give it something, let's say just add admin dashboard widget and then we'll add the word title in there just so you can see that's where it's at, all right? And then this third attribute here for this function is a callback function. So we're gonna call it admin dashboard, I cannot spell dashboard for some reason, widget, I'm gonna call it callback, right? All right, so now what we need to do is copy this and come down here and say function, and this is that dashboard callback, all right? So now we can say echo, we're just gonna say hello, dashboard. Okay, and we're gonna save this. So let's go to the admin dashboard. We need to go to plugins. We have a lot of plugins on this site, so it takes a minute. We need to activate the dashboard widget. And we go back to our dashboard here. And now we have our dashboard widget here that we can move around. We can position it where we want to and it just says hello dashboard. Hope you like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Share it with anybody that you think will benefit from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.